Methylene Blue to Cure Cancer. History, Science, Benefits, Risks, and Safety Welcome to Health 360, where we update you on important health tips and info. Kindly hit the subscribe button before we continue. Methylene Blue, a vibrant synthetic dye, has been used for over a century in medicine. While its initial applications were unrelated to cancer, this intriguing compound has recently caught the attention of researchers exploring its potential to combat the disease. With unique properties that interact with cancer cell metabolism and mitochondrial function, methylene blue is now being investigated as a promising, albeit experimental, tool in oncology. This article dives into the history, science, potential benefits, risks, and future possibilities of methylene blue as a cancer treatment. What is methylene blue? Methylene blue is a synthetic compound belonging to the phenothiazine family. Initially developed in the 19th century as a textile dye, its usefulness in medicine quickly became evident. Over time, methylene blue gained approval for treating conditions such as malaria, methemoglobinemia, a disorder affecting blood's oxygen-carrying capacity, and even urinary tract infections. Its remarkable redox properties, its ability to accept and donate electrons, make it a versatile drug. This unique ability to influence cellular respiration has led scientists to explore its potential applications in cancer treatment. The historical origins of methylene blue Methylene blue was first synthesized by Heinrich Caro in 1876. It became a medical mainstay after it was discovered to effectively treat malaria in the early 20th century. Over the years, its applications expanded to include diagnostic and therapeutic uses. In the 1950s, scientists began investigating its effect on cancer cell metabolism. Despite its promising beginnings, research into its anti-cancer properties remained sporadic, overshadowed by other emerging treatments. However, recent interest in targeting cancer metabolism has reignited focus on methylene blue. The science behind methylene blue and cancer cancer cells differ from healthy cells in their metabolism. Most rely on a process called aerobic glycolysis, also known as the Warburg effect, to produce energy. This dependency on glycolysis makes them vulnerable to disruptions in energy production. Methylene blue has shown the ability to interfere with this process, selectively targeting cancer cells while sparing healthy ones. Choose moreover, methylene blue can increase the production of reactive oxygen species, ROS, in cancer cells, leading to oxidative stress that damages their DNA and proteins. It also appears to modulate mitochondrial function, restoring energy production in healthy cells while impairing it in cancerous ones. These mechanisms suggest that methylene blue could disrupt the growth and survival of cancer cells. Research findings on methylene blue for cancer laboratory studies have provided encouraging evidence about methylene blue's potential as an anti-cancer agent. In vitro experiments have shown that the compound can inhibit the proliferation of cancer cells, particularly aggressive types such as glioblastoma. Animal studies further support these findings, with some research indicating that methylene blue can shrink tumors and improve survival rates. Although clinical trials are limited, there is growing interest in combining methylene blue with other treatments like chemotherapy or photodynamic therapy. These studies aim to better understand its efficacy and potential role in integrated cancer care. Potential benefits of methylene blue in cancer treatment One of the most exciting aspects of methylene blue is its apparent selectivity. Unlike traditional chemotherapy, which often damages healthy tissues, methylene blue seems to target cancer cells specifically. This selectivity could reduce the side effects typically associated with cancer treatments. Additionally, methylene blue has shown promise in overcoming drug resistance, a common hurdle in cancer therapy. Its distinct mechanism of action complements other treatments, suggesting that it could enhance the efficacy of radiation therapy, immunotherapy, and metabolic inhibitors. Risks and downsides of using methylene blue. Despite its promise, methylene blue is not without risks. At high doses, it can cause neurotoxicity, nausea, dizziness, and other adverse effects. It also interacts with certain medications, such as antidepressants, potentially leading to a life-threatening condition known as serotonin syndrome. Perhaps the biggest challenge is its experimental status. Methylene blue is not approved by the FDA for cancer treatment, and its use remains confined to research settings. Patients seeking alternative treatments must exercise caution and consult medical professionals before considering it. 
How methylene blue is used in research and research. Methylene blue is administered through various methods, including oral ingestion, intravenous injection, and topical application. The dosage typically varies depending on the study, with researchers using controlled amounts to observe its effects on cancer cells. Transitioning methylene blue from laboratory studies to clinical applications poses several challenges. Dosage optimization, safety evaluations, and understanding long-term effects are critical hurdles that researchers must address before it can become a mainstream cancer treatment. Methylene blue in combination with other treatments One of the most promising applications of methylene blue lies in its synergy with other cancer therapies. For instance, combining methylene blue with radiation therapy can amplify the production of ROS, making cancer cells more vulnerable to damage. Similarly, integrating methylene blue with immunotherapy or metabolic inhibitors could enhance treatment efficacy by targeting multiple pathways simultaneously. Safety and contraindications Methylene blue is generally safe when used within recommended dosages, but there are important contraindications. Pregnant individuals, those with certain mental health conditions, and patients on specific medications should avoid methylene blue unless under strict medical supervision. The experimental nature of its use in cancer treatment underscores the need for caution and professional oversight. Comparing methylene blue to conventional cancer treatments when compared to conventional treatments like chemotherapy or radiation, methylene blue offers some distinct advantages. It appears to cause less collateral damage to healthy tissues and may reduce drug resistance in cancer cells. However, its experimental status and limited clinical evidence make it less accessible and less reliable than established therapies. While methylene blue holds promise, it is not a replacement for proven cancer treatments at this stage. Public perception and ethical considerations Methylene blue's potential as a cancer treatment has been met with both enthusiasm and skepticism. While some advocates in alternative medicine circles tout it as a miracle cure, the broader medical community remains cautious. Ethical concerns arise when patients pursue off-label or experimental treatments without sufficient evidence, emphasizing the need for regulated research and informed decision-making. Ongoing research and future prospects research into methylene blue is far from complete. Current studies focus on optimizing its delivery, understanding its mechanisms, and determining its efficacy in combination with other therapies. If these efforts succeed, methylene blue could become a valuable tool in the fight against cancer, offering new hope to patients. Conclusion Methylene blue is a fascinating compound with a long history of medical use. Its unique ability to target cancer cell metabolism has sparked hope for its application as a cancer treatment. While early research is promising, significant challenges remain, including safety concerns, limited clinical evidence, and regulatory hurdles. For now, methylene blue represents a beacon of potential rather than a guaranteed solution. Patients considering experimental treatments should always consult medical professionals and rely on evidence-based approaches to their care. Subscribe, like, share and comment. Stay connected for more health info.